required by state law. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has our story. Today, Dina Johnson walks with her brother. But August 22nd, 1992, then 18, and leaving friends in Deep Ellum, Dina had a guy walk her to her car on Canton Street when two men stepped out of the dark. They came around and they started to beat my friend over the head with the pistol. And they beat him until he was out. I thought he was dead. Then turned their attention to Dina. And I was sexually assaulted and robbed at gunpoint. But I did manage to get the gun away from them. Gentry Leonard and Jermaine Wooten were eventually caught by police and convicted. Wooten sentenced to two life sentences. Leonard, 99 years for the sexual assault and 45 years for the armed robbery. He was released from prison November 17, 2015. Johnson just found out. Two days ago. I just found out because I happened to query the criminal justice website to find his name and I didn't see him in there. I'm always looking up these two to make sure that they're still where they're supposed to be and everything's going to be all right. But she did find Leonard registered on the sex offender website. I thought, how did I not know? How was I not notified of this? Because they know how to get a hold of me. So we learned a couple things from this video. One, we had a little math lesson that 99 years plus 45 years equals 23 years. We also learned that even after 23 years, even though this guy is walking away, walking out of state prison for this rape and robbery and crime of unbelievable violence, I want you to look at the victim. I want you to listen to the victim. Do you think she's walking away from it? Do you think she's been able to walk away from it? While you contemplate the answer to that question, let me remind you of one thing. Even if you have one of the local studs from the bar walk you out to the car after a night on the town, just remember this. Don't make the black kids angry. <laughs>